Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a best of Everlane. So essentially I'm going to be talking through my top 10 picks from the brand. This is kind of a starting point for me and I think today what you'll find is that it's really reflective of my current lifestyle which is a lot more casual. There's a lot of really easy basics, some great tailoring that you can use to sort of elevate your outfit uh, and things that really just aren't going to date. They sort of will be items that you can reach for year after year, at least in my opinion anyway. <laughs> Today's video is also in partnership with the brand but I'm sure you probably already know I've been shopping from Everlane for so long now and it really is just kind of my go-to. I absolutely adore their clothing and it feels really reflective of my own personal style. So I don't want to kind of waffle <laughs> on too much. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through each item. I'm going to tell you my sizing uh, in terms of the fit, uh, what the fabric is, sort of how it's worn because a lot of these pieces I've had for quite a while now and I'm also going to have a little style bit here on the side where you can see a way to wear it uh, and because I do have some variations on some of these items I'm also going to do some side by sides as well because hopefully that will help you in terms of texture and fit too. So let's start with the first piece which is going to be a really really easy basic. It is a t-shirt. It is the Everlane Air t-shirt. I had this in the black and the extra small and I also have it in a stone color. I find they tend to release these in seasonal colors um, you know every autumn, winter, spring, summer which I like because it's a really easy way to refresh your basics especially if you like to play around with the color palette of your closet. The fit of this really is quite oversized so I got it in the extra small just so that it doesn't feel like it's too large on me though if you do prefer a bit more of a slouchier fit then I would say stick with your regular size and it does have the slightly longer sleeves which is nice if you want to have a little bit more coverage on your arms. The length is really nice and long so actually one that you can wear loose. I wore mine recently with leggings and I feel I felt pretty comfortable in it um, and yeah it's a really nice lightweight fabric so for me this is an easy go-to in the summer. We're here in Sydney it can get up to and sometimes over 40 degrees so you really want things that are lightweight and breathable. But yeah um, that is one of my faves and definitely one of those things that I reach for as both a layering piece in the colder months but then just as a standalone one when it is warm. The second item I wanted to talk about is the silky oversized cotton shirt. This to me is kind of hands down the best button down shirt that I've kind of come across. One I like the fact that it is not too opaque. You can probably see here that the hanger is slightly showing through the fabric so you do need to wear a, a skin toned bra underneath but I don't have any issues with that showing through when I'm wearing it uh, but I just like how classic the style is so it just has a single pocket on the breast and then it's quite relaxed through the body. I have the white one in a four but I have also got it in other colors in the size up just to have a bit more of a relaxed feel so ultimately it's up to how you want to wear it in my opinion but I just think it's a really easy style to wear. I mean I'm gonna say this now a button-up shirt is probably not for everybody but if you do tend to go for that more classic style or you like things like this for the office this is a really good option and it does come in some really nice colors as well. Washes really well. I've gotten so many marks and stains on this wearing it with a rather grubby little toddler and soaking it they come out just fine in the wash. I haven't had any issues with threads coming loose, buttons coming off, anything like that and it basically aside from the fact that it's probably not as crisp as when I got it in the post it looks like new so absolutely adore that one another really great easy basic then I think I think this next item is probably my favorite <laughs> favorite thing from Evelyn and this is their alpaca knit sweater it's actually something I tend to recommend a lot when people are asking me what they should purchase especially for their first order um, and it's kind of funny because when I first got the alpaca knit I also have it in charcoal I've got it in a few other colors actually <laughs> it wasn't my favorite and I really it's really grown on me and I just I love the way that it fits so I've got two different colors here one is my favorite color it is the almond and this is just in the original style with the rib detail down the front then the other one I have here um, I can't remember the exact color of this but on camera you can probably see and also in person it is a really soft lilac color so really pretty pastel would be great for the spring season if you're just looking for a transitional knit. It kind of has this diamond hatch design for the knit which I think is really unusual and different and as 
extra texture which I love especially when you're kind of layering up in the colder months you kind of want to uh, add interest into your outfits with texture that's kind of one of my little uh, tricks that I use often but I'm going to show you how they look side by side I mean obviously they're the same fit I wear mine in a size small for me one of the details I really like on this is the fact that it's got this slightly puffier double lined collar so it sits really nicely around the neckline uh, but then the rest of the fabric is quite lightweight actually which gives it a nice drape has this balloon detail through the sleeve uh, and despite the fact that it is quite a lightweight knit it's actually incredibly warm so usually I can just wear this on its own or just with a little tank or a t-shirt underneath and I feel very very cozy <laughs> I will say that if you have ultra sensitive skin you may sometimes find that this is a little bit itchy I don't really have any issues with it now especially because I've on mine so 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 much uh, and also I've had questions about how to launder these and you can do so very easily either on a cold wool wash or hand wash in the machine or else you can actually just hand wash it on your own I would use cold water so typically what I would do is I would mix up the delicate soap with a bit of warm water just so that it can lather up and then I would add in cold water to top up the bucket and then I would just gently aggravate the sweater in the water before laying it flat and squeezing out the excess I do have a video on uh, how to care for your items in your closet how I hand wash my clothing I'm gonna link it up there because I think that'll probably be useful if this is um, something that you have been curious about but honestly if you're gonna buy one thing from Eveline make it their uh, alpaca knit sweater it is just such a divine piece <laughs> Next item I want to talk about is another piece of knitwear and this honestly is a classic. It's actually one of the first pieces that I ever purchased from the brand. It is their cashmere knit sweater. This is in the glacier grey I think so it's kind of a light grey with these darker blue toned grey flecks heathered throughout which is really really nice because again it adds texture. Something that I think is kind of necessary when you're working with a lot of block colours because it makes things feel a little bit more elevated, a bit more interesting. I have this one here in the size small and it has sort of a slimmer fit through the arms and then a loose fit through the body. So this is a really good one if you're looking for a basic knit that you can wear both to the office and then also on the weekend either with jeans, with shorts, if it's sort of transitional season, with skirts and ties. Uh, I really don't think you can go wrong. This is quite a thin knit cashmere, um, so it does keep you really nice and warm, but it's not gonna add too much bulk. So a really good layering one as well. You could easily put some thermals under here if you wanted extra warmth. Uh, the cashmere is really, really nice and soft actually for anyone wondering, uh, it doesn't itch your skin at all. And again, these are something that wash well. Uh, and I do find that they end up getting a little bit sort of cozier the more that you launder them, uh, that they just, they hold up really, really well and are just a beautiful classic piece to have in your closet. All right let's move on to jeans and we'll start with skinny jeans because this is a style that I've been wearing for more than two decades now and I just I can't believe it. It's so odd to think that I've been wearing one particular style for so long but clearly when you know you know. Now my favorite style of skinny jean from Eveline is their authentic stretch and I particularly like this pair here which has the butterfly. I haven't actually done them all up but you'll be able to see in the cutaways. This is just such a nice, soft, stretchy denim. It has a really good weight to it, so it feels thick, but it doesn't feel like it's restrictive at all. You've got loads of movement in it. I actually wear mine a lot just when I'm playing on the floor with our son. Like we've got a little teepee in our living room, so I will hide in there and we'll play peekaboo, all that sort of thing. These are really comfortable to do that in and probably one of the reasons why I reach for them a lot. I especially love the faded black color because it is something that kind of goes with everything. You can sort of pair back brighter colors with a pair of jeans like this, or else you can also go all out with neutrals, black works well. I have them in the size 26 ankle. Now, I have mentioned quite a few times that I have a shorter length inseam, uh, and I will have all my sizing detail down below, but for reference, I'm a size AU8 or a US4. I wear a size 26 in jeans, and I am 172 centimeters tall. Um, so I find these come up at the right length on me on the ankle because I do have that slightly shorter inseam just with my proportions, I have a longer torso. So do keep that in mind, but they have the actual item measurements on their website, which is really, really useful if you're not sure and if you're wondering if you're in between sizes, especially with an item like this, which is kind of more of a fitted piece. They fit me really well around the waist. They don't feel restrictive or anything like that. Um, I maybe could go down to a 25, but I don't want them to be 
too tight anywhere. So yeah, they feel like a really good fit on me. These launder incredibly well. Uh, they're just such a great basic and I've worn mine so many times. I swear I wear these probably two times a week because they're just so easy and so comfortable. To wear. The other pair of jeans which is sort of a must have in my books is the Cheeky Straight and this was really the style of jean that got me into wearing a straighter leg because I feel like it's a nice introductory option because the original Cheeky Straight which I have here in the bone colour, I think I've had these particular jeans for four or five years now, uh, maybe I can try and put it on screen if I can figure out exactly when I got them. They have a tapered fit, so they've got a slim tapered fit through the leg and I also, I've got them in the 25 ankle. Um, they still fit me now but they're a little bit more on the snug side so I actually think I probably need to size up to the 26. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see they're a bit more slim fitting through the thigh and then they have that slightly tapered but loose fit through the leg which I think is quite a flattering look, especially on my body shape. Okay, they just fell off the hanger. <laughs> I had them both on the same hanger, so I'm just going to hold them up and talk them through. But yeah, that is the bone pair. They're just a really lovely, slightly off-white color. Um, and again, these launder really well. I find if I get any marks on them, because obviously wearing white, especially on your lower half, can be a little bit risky. Soaking them or just putting them in the wash with a bit of nappy sand, all of the marks come out. They look really, really good, despite the fact that I've worn these countless times. Uh, and then the other ones that I've got here are the 90s Cheeky Jean, and I have these in the 25 crop but this is a slightly different fit so these have more of that baggy 90s fit to them I would say these aren't like super tight on me and they're probably more of your typical classic straight leg jean so if that's what you're after I'd recommend the 90s style it's also a different type of denim so original cheeky jean has a bit of stretch to it there's some elastine in them so they will give and relax the more that you wear them these ones here the 90s cheeky straight jean these ones are made from 100% organic cotton so they're a lot more rigid and you can definitely feel that so I would sort of recommend going down one from your regular size if you want them to fit the way that they do on me otherwise stick with your usual size if you want them to have more of a baggy 90s fit to them. The next item I want to talk about is a really good one for the spring summer season and it is their linen jumpsuit which they've recently recut in the picnic style with the buttons down the front but I also have it in the original style that they launched last year in this really lovely grey and white pinstripe but I thought I would mention this because I think it's such an effortless item to throw on when you don't know what to wear because it is a full outfit in one same goes with sort of dresses but I think this has got so much layering potential I did a reel last month with Evelyn where I shared three different transitional outfits one of which was with this jumpsuit and I was wearing a alpaca net over the top so you can kind of see there's different ways that you can wear it you can even layer an alpaca net underneath long sleeve top underneath t-shirt etc you know the opportunities really are kind of limitless for something like this uh, especially if you go for a really timeless kind of color black is never going to go out of style <laughs> but I like the fact that it cinches in at the waist the linen on it is a really beautiful I would say medium weight linen which it has a wash texture to it it is it does have texture but doesn't feel sort of rough or raw at all it is quite sort of soft and kind of lived in and that's one of the things I really adore about linen I actually have these in two different sizes so I will try them both on so I've got the striped one in the size two and then I stuck with my usual size in the black and got the four I don't really think there's too much in it in the sizing and it's more just how you want it to fit through the body it also has a really nice cropped leg so it's a good one for petites oh and the other thing I forgot to mention is that they do have these adjustable straps as well with a few different buttonholes so you can adjust the fit there really great if you are taller as well okay we've got a couple of jackets the first one I think is going to come as no surprise is the oversized blazer which I've got here in two different colors this is in the wool so I've got the black wool which is a more recent edition and then I also have the herringbone wool here which I've had for I think three or four years now I've had it for quite a while I absolutely adore these I just think that they are such a beautiful tailored piece they're so well made uh, the black one is made from this beautiful Italian wool which has this very lovely suiting feel to it uh, the herringbone one has more of a fluffy texture very kind of reminiscent of your typical wool jacket that you would perhaps or a wool coat that you would maybe purchase but in a slightly lighter weight than you might get in an actual coat uh, but they're just really really lovely lovely jackets I've got them in different sizes too so 
When I was originally getting into this sort of more long line blazer look, I wanted it to be a bit more fitted to my silhouette or at least not feel too oversized. So I got the herringbone one and the two. Now I'm sort of preferring a slightly more slouchy silhouette, something that's really easy and feels super effortless and relaxed. So I got the black one in my usual size, which is a four. And I actually think right now I probably prefer how the four fits, but I don't think there's too much in it. So ultimately it's gonna come down to how you want it to look, but you can either size down or stick with your usual size. I have also seen some people size up so ultimately it's just really down to personal preference but really really beautiful quality blazers and they are also fully lined as well to me i really don't think you can go wrong with a good blazer because they are so versatile for one they are fantastic for the office they're sort of i would say one of the cornerstone pieces of a working wardrobe where you tend to have that final piece of tailoring which just finishes off your look and ties everything in together they also are really great for the weekend. I think something like this worn with jeans is really, really chic. And actually, that's how I've been wearing this black one a lot recently. I've just been wearing it with a straight leg jean and with a t-shirt and then either with a mule or a boot, something like that. And I just feel very put together, kind of a little bit Parisian chic, I would say. Uh, but then also they're a really great item to be wearing when you're going out too. I think an oversized blazer, again, looks really, really nice when it's worn over, say something like a slip dress with some dressy heels to go out to the bar or for dinner. Um, maybe that's how I will style it to show you uh, as I think that classic uh, blazer t-shirt jeans combo you guys will all be very familiar with but that is kind of again I think this is probably the next thing that I would recommend getting after the alpaca knits. I mean I just absolutely adore this jacket and it's kind of one of my this black one in particular has been one of my favorite additions to my wardrobe for 2021. Now because it is coming up to winter here in Australia, I did want to mention a coat and this is, if, if I had to get rid of every single coat in my wardrobe, this is the one that I would hang on to because it is so incredibly well made. I think the quality far outweighs the price point, uh, especially right now because I looked on the website and it's on sale. So I think it's actually a bit of a steal because it's Italian wool uh, and really it's sort of a classic style that I think will work for most body shapes. I don't want to say for all, uh, as I think that's kind of a blanket statement, but I would say that most people will find that they get on with the style. It is the Italian Rewool Coat. I have it here in the charcoal gray, so classic, gonna go with everything, whether you're wearing brights, neutrals, dark colors. It has this really beautiful texture to the wool, the buttons on the front, you've got these pockets, really nice long length. And despite the fact that it doesn't add too much bulk, it is such a heavy jacket and it feels incredibly warm. It's also fully lined as well, uh, but it's just, I mean, mine is held up so beautifully. I've worn it quite a lot. I think this is the third winter now that I will have had this in my wardrobe and really you can't go wrong with a style like this I don't think uh, it's very very plain on the back uh, it just has the little vent down at the hemline yeah I wanted to mention that especially with it being on sale if you are here in the southern hemisphere like me and you are still on the hunt for a coat you might like to consider adding one of these to your wardrobe because yeah they are just so incredibly beautiful and they come in a few different colors too there is this kind of conquer rusty brown color with a bit of an orange undertone to it and then there is a really beautiful I would say it's kind of a, nude, a pinky nude toned camel which is lovely too uh, I got mine in the US too and I find it fits me really well I can also wear quite chunky knits underneath this too so you could either stick with your usual size or you could size it down uh, I just think it feels a little bit more tailored on my shoulders being in the two than maybe a forward but do keep in mind that I have narrow shoulders for my height and my size so that is something that I tend to think about a bit when I am adding pieces like this to my wardrobe. Obviously there are so many shoes from Everline that I absolutely adore. I would say my most worn shoes tend to be from the brand just because they are really well made. They last so unbelievably well and they're just effortless, easy to throw on. Uh, but the pair I wanted to mention, which I think is really good value for money and just such an excellent shoe, are the Boss Boots. I've got this pair here in the black pebbled leather and I've had these ones probably for about four years now and I like the fact they've got the little silver zipper on the side. If you've been following me for that long, then you'll know that I actually sold my Acne Studios Jensen boots because I found I preferred the style of these. They have a low block heel, which is incredibly easy to walk in. The quality of the leather is just really exquisite and it kind of, it's thick, but it softens up so beautifully every single time that you wear them. Kind of see I've got 
a few little creases across the foot which is really natural with a shoe like this or actually any boot you're gonna get that the more that you wear them they'll look lived in which I sort of think is the beauty of wearing something so much is that you can see how well loved it is just by the little characteristic um, marks of wear and tear that you get on that piece <laughs> but otherwise the leather is held up so incredibly well uh, it really does just look really beautiful and is one of those things that ages uh, quite nicely uh, so that is the boss boot I do actually also have this style in the re-knit version which comes up slightly further up the leg which I actually think is really flattering and being slightly more fitted around the ankle is a really good one if you want to wear tights but yeah they're both exceptionally comfortable however the original boss boots are the ones that I would recommend in the leather especially if you live somewhere where it is wet because these ones if you're wearing them on a rainy day being made from recycled water bottles uh, they will get wet uh, inside the shoe just because it is a uh, fabric or textile upper. I do have a bonus shoe that I quickly wanted to mention because these are newer to my wardrobe. I got them last month as part of my ongoing partnership with Evelyn and I really really love them and I think if you live in the northern hemisphere I think it's a good option if you've been looking for a really simple meal to wear for your outfits. Uh, they are the city sandal. I've got them in two colors. I have them in the tan woven and then also in this black leather. I got them in my usual size which is a US nine and a half and they fit me true to size. No blisters with these. I have wide feet as well and haven't had any problems. Um, I did find that when I first put them on the leather felt a little bit sharp uh, just around the edges. However wearing them even just around the house for an hour that feeling quickly disappeared and I've been able to walk quite considerable distances in these shoes. They're sort of an all-day shoe for me which is really lovely. They have the nice low block heel which is very simple easy to walk in and I don't find that they sort of slip off my feet or anything like that so really lovely the tan woven pair do feel a little bit tighter kind of across the foot so I would mention that just because they have the stitching here uh, along the toe and also along the uh, upper section of the strap so uh, those will take a little bit more time to give um, but yeah they come in white too. So there you have it. Those are my 10 or 11 if you count the city sandals that I squeezed in at the end there. Uh, favorite basics from Everlane. Ones that I would highly recommend if you've been looking at the brand, if it is new to you or you've just been kind of sitting on the fence about a few different pieces. Uh, they really are ones that I can hand on heart say wear incredibly well and are long lasting both down to the classic silhouette and also the enduring nature of the quality of the materials that have been used. But yeah, yeah, that is kind of it from me today. I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration, that you love the outfits that I shared as well and the items. I want to know if you have a favorite piece from Evelyn as I know many of you also are very fierce lovers of the brand like I am. Please tell me down in the comment section below if there's something that you think I missed. Obviously the day heels were a huge part of my wardrobe when I first started my YouTube channel many years ago but I found now that I'm going towards slightly more relaxed silhouettes so I'm not wearing heels quite as much as I used to, or at least ones of that height. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Evelyn for partnering with me on this video as always. Everything I shared will be linked down in the description box below if you would like to go and check anything out. Anyway, I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.